So this part of the river is actually it's an inlet. And uh, as you can see, it makes for the perfect location to build a village. And that's what they did. They built a village. A couple weeks ago, there were about 10 to 15 boats in this water right here. And they had to have tractors come down and pull them out because they froze in the river. Fishing is one of their primary, one of the locals' primary food sources, that and hunting. Anybody who knows me knows that I really dislike cold weather. Um, which begs the question, why am I in Alaska? Sometimes I believe that we are to, to go to places where we are to serve others, whether we like it or not. There are good people here and I do enjoy serving the, the students. In a month or so, this entire river will be frozen solid. And uh, it'll turn into the, the ice highway, which is convenient. So we don't need to worry about planes being able to come in or out. Just hop in a vehicle and drive down the river to the next village. One of the fish camps. It's amazing the many of the locals have dogs, lots of dogs, and um, it gets down to last year it got down to negative 50 at uh, certain points in the winter. And the dogs are they, they're left out. They are they're not uh, they're not brought into the house. They're just left out. I believe up here on the right, there is a dog kennel, a dog a home. <laughs> Not sure what you'd call it, but there's normally a lot of dogs up here. And I don't see any dogs here. I wonder if they do or get the dogs out of here in the winter time. They don't. That was weird. It was silent. They were invisible. Oh, there's one. There's a puppy. He's free. And he stays around here even though he's free. Oh, there's another one. It's almost like they're hibernating in there. Wow. I'm not sure if they're excited to see me or ready to kill me. 
Oh, he's a good puppy. I'll assume ready to kill me, and I should probably just leave, just in case one of them gets off the chain. Oh, three of them are free. Five of them are free. It's you guys. We're gonna go. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. Like I was saying, the uh... oh, look at you, you're gonna follow me, huh? <laughs> okay, you gotta go home. Don't follow me because I will not let you in my house. Um, it's unbelievable that they can survive in negative 50 degree weather. It's cold this morning. It's about uh, it's under 20 degrees. So, um, yeah. But I, I mean, they're fed, not fed as often as uh, I might feed them. But I don't know. Maybe that's common. Uh, and you know, they're still alive. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, village dogs, that's what they're called. And some people. Uh, have a really big heart to adopt these dogs. Um, I like dogs, but I also like to travel. And, uh oh, they're still following me. Don't follow me, dogs. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore them now because they will follow me home and expect me to feed them. I uh, I did that once in Akiak. I there was a puppy, literally uh, maybe a week old, um, not even, and someone uh, left it, just left it right outside the school, and I. Uh, you know, my first few months there, and I felt sad for this puppy, and I, and I fed the puppy, and that was the biggest mistake. Uh, I went home, it followed me, I woke up the next morning to go to school, there it was, outside. I went to school, came back, it followed me home, it was raining, pouring raining, this is in the summertime at this point, and it just sat out front of my house, um, completely soaking wet. But, uh, yeah, so I, I, I've learned my lesson there. I've never been up here. I've never been down uh, in between these houses. Most of the uh, village is still sleeping right now. It's about 10 o'clock. Um, many, uh, many people stay up very late into the night. Be careful. I don't want to walk up on that dog. are dotted throughout the village. It's where people put their trash and they, they get collected maybe every two weeks. Most houses have uh, oh don't follow me dog. I don't one of those puppies following me still. That's not good. Most houses have uh, dogs right outside their house. Um, Sure, if uh, you can hear that wind, but man, it is blowing <laughs> really hard right now, freezing my face. I want to put my mask on, but if I do that, I'll fog up my glasses. And I can't see anything. I've never actually been down this way. I know it's. I know where it leads. There's a river over there. So at some point, it's going to get to my house. I 
see that big dog running around all the time. He's a big dog. He just looks like he wants to eat me. So, I'd like to show you. So, this container over here is actually where the honey pots are deposited. Some of the village, half the village, doesn't have running water. So they have a honey pot where they use the bathroom. And those honey pots are deposited into those containers. And in the summertime, when those are being collected, we have a lot of bumps in our, in our, in our roads, a lot of ruts. And you can imagine that when they're on the uh, truck going down the road, it's splashing all over the place. So it can get really disgusting. Here's my house. And this is my company vehicle. 